Hi folks, it's Hannah. So today we're going to work on air conditioning. So safety first, wear your safety glasses with handling refrigerant. And what we have is this is a Toyota Camry hybrid. I've got my manifold gauges, low pressure, high pressure, condenser side, evaporator side. The valves are all closed. Okay, close those. And then I've already attached the low pressure one, which on this car is um, is is down here. Okay, right kind of on the side there. And then to attach these, and this is now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna attach the high pressure, which is right here. Remove the cap and put that in a safe spot. We don't lose it. Now make sure this is closed. If you try and put this, this connector on with um, Absolutely make sure that's closed. And why is that important? Because what will happen is if you try and attach this with this open the pressure from the line, if the system's pressurized and you're just topping it off, will not allow you to attach this. But with this closed, you can now pull this back and it should go on pretty easily. And just like that. There you go. Okay, now that's on. Now what we're gonna do, we will, what I like to do is um, open, well, you can attach the refrigerant line first. Okay, let's do that. So this is your can of refrigerant. I've already put the um, hose on. So we just, and this is again off all the way counterclockwise off and then what I like to do is loosen this a little just to um, bleed any uh, any air out of the system so we'll go ahead and open this close that for now. So open this, remember your safety glasses. So this will open up, you can kind of hear it sizzling. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do here, is just let a little, you know, purge the line so there's no air in the line because you want as much friction going in as you can. Okay, and then same thing here. Purge the line on these. And same here. Okay. Now I can go ahead and open these. So we will open these. Turn these knobs. Okay. And you're gonna open this one too. And clockwise is open. You can kind of hear it sizzle. Okay, now these lines are open. Now you can, you can see we're getting pressure. I just open those up a bit just to get any air out of the system. Okay, I know you lose a little bit of free on there. But now we can, um, now normally I just keep, keep this one closed. This one we will open up when we start charging. Be careful of anything hot, like this exhaust. Keep that away from your hoses. I did burn my arm on that, which is why I have this wet towel. I burned my arm on the exhaust manifolds. So you be careful. Okay, we'll start it up and we'll start charging. Folks, and again, so it's still, we got, the, we got it so the compressors was running. I got the pressures down. But unfortunately, it's still not blowing as cold as it should be on the vents inside the cabin. So I've got a vacuum pump. What you do here is open up the high side. You only open up the high side when it's off and you're gonna be drawing a vacuum. Don't ever open the high side if you're charging because you could injure yourself. This is high pressure. So you only open it when you're drawing a vacuum. I've also gone ahead and opened up the low side. You usually open that one when you're charging. And then this, which would normally go to a refrigerant canister to charge it is going to a vacuum pump. 
and you turn this on and you will notice the gauges are going to start dropping and what this does is this burns off all of the uh, this burns off all of the moisture in the system it evaporates off because the lower the pressure the more light the lower the temperature for something to evaporate so all the moisture and the water that might have gotten inside an air conditioning system over the years is, is essentially boiled out it's sucked out by this pump Okay, folks, so this has been running for um, for about two hours, and that's probably enough time. So I'm going to go ahead and close these valves. Now, what you should normally do is let this sit and see if the vacuum holds. I'm not going to do that because I think generally the system had some AC in it, so... I don't think it would leak, um, would really show anything conclusive uh, with that. So make sure these are tight. Okay. okay. These are closed, closed, and then I can unscrew this. Okay. And then we will begin um, the charging process. I'm done adding the refrigerant. We're at 40 psi on the low side, about 200 on the high. And if we go into the car, um, you know, it's it's not crazy cool, but it's definitely cold. I mean. And I heard that these aren't particularly, don't blow particularly cold Toyota. So I'm going to go with this. It's about 18, maybe 20 ounces of refrigerant I added after pulling a vacuum on the system. So hopefully we'll see if that does better. Before it was overcharged, it had more refrigerant than it needed. So again, the lesson is more isn't necessarily better because the system will sense the higher pressures and just shut off completely. And you don't have any air conditioning, so... Now I've added the right amount in. This is a used car, so I think the prior owner had leaks, so it doesn't seem to be leaking when I pulled vacuum, but um, we'll find out soon enough on that, I guess just by use. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. And then, um, just so you all know, to, to remove these, turn all both of these valves, Make sure they're closed. This one should never have been opened except for when you're pulling a vacuum. The high, I'm very nervous about the high. Now let's, you just close each valve first. That way, you know, you're not fighting a very high pressure. And do the same. Now watch this exhaust manifold here. I burned my hand, my arm on that earlier on these cars. And then same thing. Close this one down here. That's you can see. And then I'm gonna just, then you just pull these. That one's off. And we'll pull this one. And uh, that's it. You can now clean up. Make sure you wipe up any refrigerant that might have spilled out. And um, 